Welcome back to another Fishing with Tyler video. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a uh, what's in my tackle box video. Just showing kind of my bait, waiting for the lakes to warm up. I did go outside yesterday and caught one, so I'll show that one at the end, alright? Let's get into it. Alright, this is the uh, Plano, Plano box, double-sided. First, I want to get into like a little bit of like um, fishing hacks, like a type of, type of organization type thing. What I've done is I've put these hooks onto a safety pin, and I just opened up the safety pin to get my hooks off. I've done the same thing with my swivels, as you can see here. Got all my weights in there, bobbers, some inline spinners, some, what are those? This is like a uh, swim bait type thing with a shiner underneath it. Pretty cool. Got our frogs, got a jerk bait, crank bait, same color. Got some grubs, some spoons, some jigs for crappie. And then this side is where I keep some of my hard baits. Got a Nice little swim bait here. Got that. Got that new one that I just got a couple days ago. Not a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. Brand new crankbait. Got some little ones in there. Some jigs and stuff. Got my little crankbait there. Got my go-to lure. Not that big one. The uh, Wapa Plapa. I throw this one like every time anywhere I go because I know it's gonna catch a fish. I just leave those ones there. Oh, this one I got for free. Found it on a pier that somebody left there. It's like a really high end, expensive lure that I got for free. Got another stick bait there. They're called stick baits because they're long, like sticks. Got two little crank baits here. Little one there. Got a bunch of crank baits in there, jerk baits type stuff. And inside, got my pike lures in here. Got my, what does it say? XPS. I don't know if you guys can see that. Lure. Kevin Van Dam. 19 feet runner. Got that. Red, like crawl dead. To put in there for now because it's kind of hard to do it one handed. Got a Poe. Caught me a lot of pikes. Pose. Just get in there. There. Okay, and then this is the bait right here. This one, not that big one. Uh, let me get these ones separated. They will come on over. They will come off. Kind of hard to do this one handed. Get my camera down real quick. There we go. Ouch getting hooked this spook right here this is the one that i caught that bass on yesterday that i'll show at the end the uh hedden zara puppy nice little bait i got this bigger hedden got that sucker at a garage sale but it is a really nice lure i haven't got to use it yet because of winter got a popper in here some hedden torpedoes another torpedo type thing Got my square bills and smaller divers. Got my, uh, what are those called again? Those are called. Move all these lures. Ah, oh, I'm gonna get hooked. Flatfish, that's what these are called. These flatfish. And they only go like this, like six feet, four, not six feet, six inches to a couple feet, and they just go like that. I had a big fish on, broke my line as soon as it hit it. And here, got my stuff that I can't get out. Put the camera down again. Since it's hard to do one handed. Ugh. Got this. Rapala. Rapala. What does that say? Shadow Wrap 3 Slow Sinking. Got this one a couple of years ago. I haven't caught a fish on it yet because I just give it a straight retrieve but you're supposed to like jerk it in the water, make it all flashy and everything. 
Got this one when I got uh, these two up in here. Got this one back at Bass Pro Shops. Real loud, nice, nice lure. This one's a jerk bait as well. Got some nice reflective sides to it. Just got some deep divers there. Some stuff for caught a smallmouth on that golden one in there. Caught a pike on that one. Pike lures in here. Lipless crankbait right there. Got my uh, some tail dancers in there. All right, now down to the other side of the box. Since it is one of these double-sided ones. All right, we got our hooks there. Some a floater, worm, har worm harnesses. Got our spinnerbait trailers. Got our uh, more hooks. Bunch of jigs I got here. Let me, let me try to get some of these out. So you can see all my jigs. Wow. Got a uh, crawled out colored one. Purple one. Purple greenish. Got some, uh, um, I'm forgetting the name of them. Chatterbaits. Got another one, kind of like a crawl dad color. It's a rad one, one. Don't know if you guys can hear that. Got a blue uh, chatterbait. An old one that I found at a garage sale. Got a another green and bluish one. Got a little blue one. This one actually caught me a pretty big bass on it, like 14, 14 and a half. And I got this one when we got went to Bass Pro Shops. Got this. If I can get the stuff off. Get that black and red one with the rattles. That should be a fun one to throw. Just a bunch of lures so far. Basically all I ever use. Oh, and somebody sent me in this. Uh, let me pull it out. Somebody sent me in this real nice tape measure. So thank you for whoever that was. Really appreciate that. Got a pretty cool closing action. Just hit this button. Suck it in. Alright, on to the lures. Uh, let me try to get my spinner bait box out of here. If I can. Okay. That doesn't want to come out right yet. So let's get out some of our worms. Got some Gary Anamoto's flipping hog or flapping hog. Nice little design. Put those on the back of my jigs. Like, uh, put it on the back of that one. Back of that one. Kind of like a trailer. Or I could just throw it with a hook in it. It's got some, uh, little stuff to use in there. Got some of my, uh, great grandpa's worms that he used to use. Net bait. Get in the net. Got a couple of those to pack a chunk senior. Sapphire blue. Oh, and this color is watermelon black flake. Got some Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series River Bug. Got another Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series Bull Hog. Some more of my grandpa's worms. A big old bobber for something. Kind of got some stuff on it there. Uh, just a little, let me try to unroll it. Nice little crawl dad in there. There's that. Plier. Bunch of steel leaders from when you're pike fishing so the pike can't break your line. Let me get those all out. Okay. Got some rage tail swimmers, or rage swimmers, not rage tail. I haven't caught a fish on these yet, but I will. Some more net bait. The baby, this one's a baby pack of craw for some reason, even though it's bigger. Anyway, this is the bull, bulk blue flake. Got some power bait, Barkley or Berkeley, not Barkley. Uh, this is the color in electric grape. Got some yum. Houdini shad swim bait type thing. I had to put it in this bag because the other one ripped. Rip. Just got some 
Bella's Go To series with a uh, diamond stick color. Got some more trailers for the jigs. Got the Bass Pro Shop Tournament Series Sticko Worm and the Green Pumpkin with the Sarcruz Tail. Got some more Tournament Series Sticko Worm. Got it in the Sure Thing color because it's a sure thing. Got some. More tournament series. Sticko warm. June bug color. It's hard to read because the bag kind of leaked a little or got some water on it or something. Alright, onto my spinner bait box that I was just barely able to fit in there. This is a uh, Plano as well. It's the logo Plano. This thing can hold up to 35, 36 spinner baits. So this is basically all my spinner baits. I'm going to take them all out because they're kind of a pain to get back in there. This one is a uh, Lunker Hunt uh, bait with the uh, Colorado Blades. Colorado. They're called that for... I don't know why they're called that, but these ones give off bigger vibrations in the water. And I'll try to grab one. Are these ones... This one's a Kevin Van Dam Tour Edition. No. Strike King, actually. My bad. These are the willow blades. Alright, I'm going to add that video to the end of it, but that's basically the rundown of my tackle box. Alright. Today we're out here at the creek behind my house. I'm going to be throwing a Hedden Zara puppy in the chrome color and trying to get some topwater bites. Alright, let's get into it. Starting out good with a line twisting around my pole. Alright, let's go. First cast. Kind of walking it in. Just to create something for the fish to see. First cast is in. No action yet. Ugh. Probably get stuck in a tree before this video is over. That's what I do all the time. Hello there, Cardinal. There's one. There's one. There's one. Sink cast. Ooh, he feels pretty good. Try to get over here a little bit. Decent. Oh, I forgot my tape measure. It's alright. Doesn't look like a keeper. But it's a nice one. Let's chill out a little. You got that whole trouble hook in your mouth. Ouch. Nice fish. Nice one to start on. Nice little dinker. But it's fat. Look at that. Look at that belly. All right, nice little one to start on. Let's get, let's get him released. Try to get another one. Try not to sink in the mud. Wrong way there, buddy. Oh, shoot, now you're sinking. Ah, oh, shoot, now you got a mouthful of mud. Go. There he goes. All right, thank cast. Got one already. That did not take as long as it did. As I thought it would. I didn't bring a towel out here either, covered in mud. My Thursday when I went fishing, I forgot to record an outro, so I'm filling it here today. Hope you guys like that tackle box video, seeing that fish get caught. It was a pretty good day, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see all you guys in the next one. Later.